Imagine if you only got one chunk per day in your Minecraft world. Would you survive? Let's find out. Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 4 of my Minecraft a one chunk hardcore let's play. The night is setting and I agree, I think it's time to finally sleep. So to be truthful, the only reason I wasn't sleeping before was because the way this plugin works, um, if I were to sleep, I think that it would basically trick the game into thinking that I was actually, like, like basically like every 24,000 ticks, which is one Minecraft day, it gives me a new chunk. So if I miss this up, like when I sleep, then it's gonna be happening at random times. But we're, we're at the point now in the series where I feel like it doesn't really matter when the new chunk appears. Um, it just kind of matters that it does eventually appear, which it will. So I'm going to start sleeping now so that we don't have to deal with any more phantoms. And we just now got the achievement Sweet Dreams. So what I did in between this episode and last is not a whole lot. I did fix our mob farm over here. And then I also read a comment that said, Hey, Neo, the other half of your mob farm is going to disappear when you get a new chunk. And I said, oh, no. So since we slept through the night, I bet when the sun is just about to set is when we'll get a new chunk. Um, so anything over this line right here will get deleted when the new chunks happen, <laughs> which is unfortunate, but I should have thought of that. So we'll have to rebuild maybe like a third of it. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, and I, when I was watching the footage back, I realized some mobs are still dying. Um, and I don't know under what conditions they're dying, but I need to like watch this for a while just to make sure that uh, everything isn't like just falling and dying. Because I want to use this to get XP. I think we can finally start enchanting this episode. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a little bit, and yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's dying. I'm not sure why we saw those other mobs die. Uh, but we have a good source of XP, and of course mob drops and stuff, which we don't really need. We mainly just need the XP. Um, but yeah, let's see, like a few things are dying without me hitting them, and I think it's just because I'm right on the precipice of it being too far of a fall. Anyways, so I think our cow situation's fine. We definitely have enough. Oh yeah! You know what I just forgot? We don't have sugar cane! Um... Okay, so this is a little bit of an issue. We haven't had a wandering trader come by with sugarcane, and uh, we also have no sugarcane. Um, if we had found maybe a villager, um, hmm, I guess technically we could try to go to the nether. That's not going to help with paper. Oh, okay. Well, I'm at a bit of a crossroads here. I have to either wait until we get a chunk with sugarcane, hmm, because yeah, I mean paper, you can't like make paper. Oh my gosh, you can't make paper any other way. Uh, we haven't, we don't even have the recipe for it, but it's just three sugar cane and we can't do that yet. Uh, you know what? Let me just make sure I'm not like going crazy here. I think, where's my live chest? Over here, yeah, we don't have any sugar cane. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's not really a way that I can think of it unless we get a chunk that has sugar cane. So let's work on some other stuff for now. And maybe we'll get lucky because I don't know if we really explored this chunk very much. But like my guess is that there, yeah, there's there's no sugar cane. Um, I see a lush cave down there potentially, or maybe that's just grass. Um, but there is a lot of stuff down there, which is great and all. But I don't really need diamonds at the moment. I kind of have a healthy supply. Um, I see more down there, but the issue is, is if, I, if I get shot off like by a, uh, by a mob, then <laughs> I lose the world. So... Maybe I shouldn't toy with that. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to terraform these three chunks um, just to kind of keep it in line with everything else. We may end up using a lot of dirt, but I don't remember how many diamonds we really have. Oh, ha, we have three diamonds in total. Well, it's back to iron tools. For me, I don't have any iron either. Okay, we're going mining. <laughs> I didn't realize we had nothing. That's not good. Hmm, yeah, we're just gonna make another diamond pickaxe and I'm literally just gonna go mining because we can't do anything I want to flatten those out, but I need to make more shovels I can't make more shovels because I don't have any iron and uh, it's gonna be a vicious cycle So I'm gonna farm this bad boy up not everything is grown But like a large enough percentages that I can just do this and like it should be fine probably um, And then I'll just make bread or something like that Okay, well this farm was larger than I thought. I guess since it's almost one chunk, um, we ended up getting almost three stacks of wheat, which is awesome. That's a lot of bread. Let's see, how much bread is it? 58 bread is pretty good. And of course, we still have to be able to breed the cows, but I think we uh, we don't have any wheat, but that's okay, right? Like, that'll be fine. 
I think I'll breed these guys like one more round and then we should for sure have enough. Uh, the chicken farm is going absolutely crazy. Like there's so many chickens in there. I bet some have died from entity cramming. No, they haven't, but we still do have a lot of eggs going, which is a good source of food too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it short of waiting for sugarcane, I guess we can technically fish for enchanted books. I can try that for a little bit, but I don't really think that we're ever gonna get enough and I should not have used all my string. I guess I can still make one more. Yeah, I can make one more. I need to be careful with the string because our mob spawner purposefully does not make spiders because they'll get stuck in the tube. Uh, but I'm just gonna be fishing all day and see if we can get an efficiency or a fortune book. I doubt it, but worth a shot, right? Yeah, I came up here to make more torches. We have no coal either. So we really need to go mining. Uh, we literally have no coal at all. Um, I suppose we could use some wood, but I think we used like most of our, I think we actually used all of that wood that we gathered. Um, oh man, we did probably use it all. Oh yeah, but we grew a giant chunk tree, so we should be fine if we need to make charcoal. Um, someone suggested that I grow bamboo and use that, but I, I don't have that as a fuel source quite yet. But yeah, I'm just gonna make a bunch of charcoal with this. This should be fine. And then I'm gonna go back to fishing. I just, I got distracted. Hey, look, a new chunk has appeared. Nice. I was just going to mine until this uh, diamond axe went away. And uh, I just need 16 pieces. There we go. Uh, we're close enough. There we go. So we can get a full stack of charcoal with that. I wonder where this chunk is. And if it has sugar cane, I will be the happiest and luckiest person alive. Please tell me it's not near the chunk farm. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. Ooh, I guess maybe... Yeah, I guess maybe it's all- wait, is that an Enderman? No, oh, it's a zombie, okay. Yeah, see, I knew, because it's kind of like the opposite of how it should be because I slept. So now when I sleep, it'll happen like a full- is it- it's not over here. Where is this thing? Wait. There could be sugar cane in this portal chest. I don't actually know where this new chunk is. I like can't find it. Is it over here? No? What in the world? So there's so many there's been so many new chunks. I don't know where it is. I like genuinely don't. This is so strange. We got a mystery on our hands. Cuz every chunk that has spawned in has been lit up, right? So I would know if it was like over here or something. Maybe it's taken a second to appear or something? Or maybe I missed it all the way over there. It could that's probably where it is, yeah. Over in that direction. Yep, this just right over here, and I somehow missed it. I don't know how, but yeah, it's just this chunk right here. Because remember, I was standing where this chunk wasn't and looking up at this thing. So we're getting close to being able to, to, to losing the moss on here. If I do F3 and G, that will show you where all the chunks are. So yeah, this one is going to break that. Um, there, this one will break like that part of the mob spawner. This just shows you where like a chunk boundary is. So yeah, we got this new chunk right here, basically. I'm just going to light it up. And we don't have to worry about phantoms anymore, thankfully. And I'm already out of torches, so if I need to put these down a little bit more sparingly. Uh, but like I said, I'm about to go make a bunch of charcoal. That should help us. Yeah, this shouldn't be dark enough to spawn mobs. We should be okay. But I do see a ton of mobs in there. And, you know, as they spawn in, since this world's kind of small, I might as well just go over here every once in a while and... Get a little bit of XP. Oh yeah, and another wonderful thing about recording everything that I do... You guys let me know when I mess stuff up. Um, and you also gave me the re the really good idea to like put stairs above these, like right here. And you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Now, I think, oh yeah, you're right. On the side, you couldn't even tell the difference either. You guys are ingenious. Um, but beyond that, you guys also informed me that I had messed up a stair over here. And when I was doing the replay mod, to be fair, I saw it too. Uh, but I, I didn't want to fix it when I was off camera. So, look at this. Now the roof is fixed. There's no weird stuff going on. Let me break all this stuff and then come back into here. I'll actually have to put that down from the outside. But yeah, we can make all these into double chests, which will be so much more helpful. Because imagine how much more chest storage we can have. I mean, we don't even have like the maximum. Like, our chests aren't full yet, but we probably will need this to be done. So I'll just put upside down stairs right here. Nice. Okay, there we go. And now I can make... Oh, I got to put... The, I don't have an axe, do I? And I don't even think I have enough iron to make an iron axe. Oh, this is kind of painful. Oh, I do. Okay. Thank God. I was like, I'm not going back to the Stone Age, man. But we definitely need to start getting more iron. 
Um, I guess I'll have to place these like from the left to right. And that'll make it work. Just like that. And now the chest room is completely filled. There we go. Completely filled up. Nice. Thank you guys for that. We'll be putting item frames up here too, of course. Oh, yes, dude. Please give me a little bit of torches. I hate not having torches, man. I always feel like so bad. Like I, I feel like I'm going to die if I don't have torches for some reason. Okay, now I can start fishing again and not have to worry about anything, thankfully. Well, guys, I've been fishing for most of the night. All I have to show for it is a lily pad, which is cool, and then a bunch of fish. I mean, I know it's pretty rare without any enchants on your fishing rod, but I was really hoping I could get a nice fishing rod just from, you know, fishing. That's the hope, is I need an enchant book or a fishing rod because, oh, that would, be, that would just be so nice. Yeah, I mean, something seems weird because I haven't gotten anything but fish, and maybe they're just really rare. Um, but I'm going to try to make this thing, like, I guess a little bit deeper and maybe even a little bit bigger because something does not seem right. Now, I can expand it in this direction quite a bit, um, but I don't want to make it any wider. So I'll probably just make it come out in front of the house, like to maybe like right there at the closest point and then kind of bring it back around like that. Something like this. I'm just going to make it deeper and make it bigger and then we'll come back and we'll see if this helps our fishing odds. I don't know. Okay, so I'm thinking this is pretty much good. I just want to collect all the cobblestone because this thing is like fairly deep now. We've pretty much made our own like artificial pond. And so if this doesn't start giving me enchanted books, then I know there's something wonky going on. Because like this totally should, right? Like this is pretty dang big now. And it's like really deep, like much more. It used to be just three deep. Now it's up to... uh five deep in some areas. This should be good. Maybe. Hey, a new chunk has appeared. Uh. Uh. Oh, it's over there. Nice. Um, it, uh, let me catch this fish. There's one about to pop out. <gasps> we got a piece of leather and that's like the first piece of leather we've ever gotten because we haven't killed any of our cows. Nice. Um, yeah, so this is the chunk and there's nothing like wrong with it. But there's no sugar cane here, so it's kind of worthless to us. But hey, it is definitely nice. Um, I don't know what that is. Hey, look, a geode. Nice, dude. And a bunch of mobs that I don't want to mess with. Okay, well, there's no sugar cane, so like I said, useless to us. But we are making good progress, I think, with fishing because I just got a piece of leather, which it should be good. So again, I'm going to fish through this entire night and hope I get an enchant book or an enchanted fishing rod. Either one will help tremendously. Okay, I got a tripwire hook. That's very helpful. Jeez. I think it is a good sign, though, that I'm starting to get more stuff. I think I've successfully tricked the game into thinking I'm fishing in an actual lake. Because all both of these things were obtained fairly recently. And uh, we didn't get anything like that before. It was all just fish. So I think we're about to get something great. I, I hope. I'm going to keep this one on recording, okay? This has to be our lucky cast. We're gonna get something incredible. Okay, it's about to it's about to happen. You see all the pop-ups? There we go. He's coming in. And it's puff fish. Well update. So I've been fishing through the entire night. And uh I mean we have a lot of fish. Uh we broke the other fishing rod, but like I looked it up on the wiki to make sure I wasn't like, you know, messing up. And like I'm pretty sure that this thing is big enough now, but for some reason we're still not getting loot. So it's like a five percent chance that you catch loot. 10% you catch trash, which is like this stuff, and then 85% chance you catch fish. So we should have caught, I think, at least one piece of treasure item right now. I don't know, though. Okay, I, I just got a pair of broken leather boots right as I said that. The game's like, oh, you want treasure? How about some trash? I have become a fisherman. I can only do one thing. Fish. And yeah, we got a new chunk, so that's why I came back. Yeah, I mean, I'm determined now to catch at least one thing that isn't trash, man. I swear, we have so much fish. Where is this new chunk? Has it destroyed our mob farm? Or did we perhaps get lucky? Um, I don't think it's over there, so that means it has to be probably around the other side of these trees. I was hoping at some point we could get the chunk that's over here, because this can have sugarcane in it. I looked in the loot table, I'm 99% sure that was the right loot table, I hope so. Because that's like my only, like, savior. Surprised we haven't gotten a chunk like over in this direction. I don't know where it is. Let me find it real quick. Oh, okay. It's this chunk right here. The chunk that 
we never had before that this big gap that was always here well hey look it's no longer a gap and we now have another chunk of the world to explore there's nothing there <laughs> i was hoping maybe you know by miraculous chance it had sugarcane but that's not the case now to fish a whole nother night or until this fishing rod runs out and if i don't get an enchanted book i'll just go mine but it's gonna be kind of hard because we don't have any that ah, will be fine you know what after like literally 30 minutes of solid fishing like 30 actual minutes in real life i'm done <laughs> we're just gonna chalk it up to a loss we got a lot of junk which is great and we got a lot of food which i mean admittedly the food part is great um but i was just hoping you know for something beyond just food but you know what you don't always get exactly what you want in life or in minecraft all right to the mines we go let's see if we can finally get some more iron and stuff Okay, I'm just going to look at the stone wall. I did not look at you, buddy. <laughs> I promise I did not look at you. Um, now, if I want to get iron, ideally, like, you want to stay up high. But I'm hoping I can find one of those big iron pockets. That would be, like, the absolute best case scenario for us. Hopefully, I, I'll, I'll do, like, a replay mod just showing me just, like, mining over. Or not mining, uh, fishing over and over and over. I'm trying to make sure my sound volume is turned up just in case. Just in case... There's a lot of mobs down here, which I believe that there are. Yeah, there's definitely quite a few. Okay, remember we were over here. And, uh, oh yeah, we can always just get string like right here. We have infinite fishing rods. What am I so worried about? We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to collect a bunch of string real quick. Okay, I need not worry about string ever again. At least not for a long while. I do want to, however, get a, get a couple blocks. And keep in mind, I still do have another diamond pickaxe. I'm not coming down here without a pick. Um, I wanted to get a few blocks just to kind of, you know, have the ability to parkour or, like, block myself in like I keep doing because I get scared from mobs. Okay, this should be more than enough stuff. Just in case I get stuck anywhere, I don't want to really die. Um, have we already been to this part of the mine shaft? I remember there was a part that I didn't go to. Is there any diamonds? down there or anything. I have to be careful, like I said, hanging off the edge, because I can very easily get shot off. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in that direction. There there was more mine shaft, but I can't remember where it is. I know we had gone over here, but I do remember finding more, and I was like, yeah, I'm good for now. <laughs> it's like, this is not, this is not where we need to be. So let me look around and see if I can't find that, man. I don't know where it was. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, I hear something right over here. Oh, yeah, this is another mine shaft. And I see some ske- Oh, okay. <laughs> he hit me right in the face with that one. I should, I should have this out so I can get the big hit on him. And then the big hit- I'm messing up. There we go. I do like using the axe, but like I said, I'm just so used to using- Um, I'm so used to using a sword. It's kind of hard for me to hit the- The crits all the time, but it is definitely a lot quicker to kill. Like, I recognize that for sure. So I'm trying to get better about using it. Just because... Maybe it's better with the diamond axe, but I feel like I get hit more. Because the, you know, maybe up close, if there's more than one mob. I see diamonds, which is great. I just need to prioritize staying alive. That's probably my main goal. Is to not blow up. <laughs> Unlike that other guy. Oh, no. We gotta take care of wherever this is. How did that guy hit me? You see what I mean about those little poison spiders, dude? I feel like they're kind of broken. Like, that thing hit me from, like... Okay, we gotta figure this out. And we gotta not die, so I'm gonna sit in a corner. There we go. Okay, I hear another spider out here, so I don't know if we're about to just get insta-wrecked or what. But I believe this spawner... Yeah, you're stuck. You're stuck, buddy. Okay. Okay, I see how that one hit me, kind of, but still. Like I had the upper hand there. We're just going to take care of that thing. And then get the XP. And we should be good as long as we hide immediately and don't die. We're good. We're good. Nice. Now, I have received many comments in this Let's Play in particular about Neo. Why on earth do you not just make a shield? And the only answer I have to that is I don't really know. Okay, really... Because um, I just don't really have an answer for it. I probably should have a shield. Um, but I've just ne I never got in the habit. Like I said, I've been playing Minecraft for about 11 years. Almost 12 years. And like, I don't... Like... I don't know how to use them effectively. Like, I know how to use them effectively. 
why that one take so many hits? But more often than not, I end up just kind of like not using it right. And that just makes it where it's, I don't know. Where are all these spiders, dude? You guys hear that? There is an insane amount of skill. Oh! Dude, I could have died so easily right there. I could have died so easily there. My guess is there's a bunch of stuff over there. Something. I don't know what's going on over here. Why are there so many? Okay, there has to be a skelly dungeon back there, which is nice. I need to block this off so I don't die personally. Hopefully we can kind of lead him over here or something. Um, There has to be a dungeon down there. What in the world? There's so many down there. Let's like, can we like suffocate them? Oh, wow. They actually are. Okay. Okay, I did not expect that to really work. But I'm pretty sure there's another spider dungeon over here. So we're going to go try to find that. Um, what was down here? This just does not seem like something I really want to go into at all. I'm going to try to figure out what's going on over here first. Yeah, there. Or maybe that's just from the old spider dungeon. Oh, not again, dude. Okay. I got to hide again. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, so I've kind of made a little staircase up here because I am so tired of hearing these spiders. Oh, hey, there's another spawner. No, not again, dude. Come on. And the poison they give you lasts like 15 seconds. So it just keeps like procking over and over. Dude. <laughs> and there goes my sword. Wait, I don't have a sword now. Oh, no, I don't have a sword. Am I really going to have to resort to the old school days of stone swordery? I'm probably just going to end up using my axe, but it can't hurt to have a stone sword. I still, I found no iron here, like at all. Shit, I've been sitting in this one spot for so long. Every time I peek out, I get hit by a spider. And like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm pretty sure I've killed. There's where a lot of them are is in that corner right there. I'm not going to get run up on, am I? Okay, that was like three of them. So hopefully these noises will slow down, dude. It's insane. Okay, so that's the corner over here. Oh no, he's sitting right there. The, the stone sword is so bad. <laughs> Can't believe I'm back to the stone age, dude. All because I never got enough iron. Is there seriously another... Oh gosh, okay. How did, how did there get to be a... How did there get to be that over there? I'm trying not to attract everything at once. Okay, I'm gonna not get hit this time. They like lunge at you. Okay, there we go. Okay. Can you come over here, Mr. Skeleton? My stone sword is already almost broken again. Bro, <laughs> stone sword. The stone sword is so bad. Ugh, there we go. There's a baby zombie too. Just gonna be absolutely deadly. I think I'm holding my own pretty well. It's just the one thing about this one chunk is that there's so many more mobs than usual. Like to a degree where it's almost unfair. That baby zombie can come through that. I gotta fix that. I wish it would aggro me, the baby one. That way I could kind of. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby zombie, please. It, like, loses its pathfinding. Okay, I'm just gonna let them fight it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna deal with that. I also don't really want to get run up on from behind, so we should be safe here. Okay, so we did get a new chunk, which is nice. I believe there's a skeleton on the other side of this wall. That should be the last mob. I'm not hearing any more of those annoying spider noises, so I think we took out all those. And the last thing to contend with is whatever zombies are over here. Or at least the baby zombie over here. I don't think it's been taken care of. Oh, where did it... Where did it come from? What? Did you guys see that? Okay, so the zombie's taken care of. Is there something down below here? There is, and that does not look too friendly. I'm gonna make a staircase down there. Okay, said zombie has a stone shovel. Very, very deadly variant here. I gotta get steak going too, is my food source. This is so slow. Uh, come on. Ugh. 
There we go. Nice little two shot on him. And this looks like that's all the cave that was here. We do have quite a bit of the land generated now, so it's kind of nice. I'm just hoping for one of those big old iron pockets. That would be absolutely ideal. Like, I cannot tell you how big of a... How big of a good feeling that would give me because right now I just there's getting iron is just so hard I can't even make an iron farm because we don't have a village But like I don't know what's on this seed. I didn't like test this seed beforehand or anything like that See that's that's what's dangerous if that guy were to like shoot me off like hanging on the edge. I'd be into the world I'm honestly surprised this world um, Has gone on this long like if I'm completely honest with you. I don't know how I haven't died and like if I die, we'll call it a series because there's a few things that's going to be kind of hard. Um, and that's just like getting sugarcane. I'm talking to the plugin developer. We may implement a way where I can like spend XP to buy chunks. Um, and remember when I you know did the first episode, I said I would increase the frequency that chunks generate. We may do every half day starting next episode uh, because having to wait this long just makes no sense anymore because there's nothing really like, I mean, I'm waiting for sugarcane. Like I'm not like... You know, I don't feel like it's going to be cheaty. Okay, I'm going to, I guess, go back up and strip mine at a higher level or something. Because this is not really helping us. Just getting all this stuff here. The, nothing fruitful is coming from this. Wait, didn't I get diamonds back here? Did I even mine them ever? I don't have them in my inventory. Where were they, though? Oh, no. Don't tell me I lost diamonds. <laughs> Don't tell me I lost diamonds. Okay, so this is where you come down into here. But I swear to God, we had diamonds at some point. Dude, what? Where did the diamonds go? No. Okay, we know we were down here on this level, right? And they were... Oh yeah, they're right here. Okay. That's right. We were getting attacked by stuff. I'm going to make sure I don't forget these because we do not have a lot of diamonds. We can't be... Okay, I thought I saw a creep. <gasps> iron, let's go. Please be a big pocket of iron. It was a big pocket of diamonds, so I'm very happy about that. But please be a big pocket of iron. I really need you, iron. I don't think it is, because there's no tough around. Yeah, good thing that creeper didn't fall in the hole. I don't even know if I... Did I, li did I light this up over here? Is that iron up there? No. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. What? I swear, dude, these spiders are everywhere. <laughs> uh, was there anything down in this direction? Oh, a big mama spider. There we go. Mm, no, this just leads back into the big room we were in, where we were collecting. Yeah, so I'm going to go up higher, and uh, it won't be really exciting, but it should definitely yield us some more iron. Because, like, diamonds, like, we just got six. So that's, like, a sword, which we desperately need. Oh, we're right back here. We need a sword and... Probably something else. I don't know. Okay. Well, on my way up, I heard a baby zombie. Um, we were almost to the top of the staircase. And I heard a baby zombie. And I was like, ooh, this looks interesting. Or sounds interesting. And I found this little cave thing. And uh, it looks like there's actually quite a bit of iron here. So I believe this was the cave, yeah, that we had cleared out uh, maybe on one of the first days. So I'm going to stick around this level. And I forgot that we have a bunch of caves up here that we didn't explore. Because I said I'm just going to end up dead. And that was truthful back then, but like I've been fighting down low, you know, fighting some incredibly hard stuff. And I feel like we'd be okay now for the most part. Um, so let's go like over here. See, there's a skelly, but it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, buddy, come on. That's right, you just got killed by a stone sword. I'm just having to let the creepers blow up. There's no point. I'm not I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with this uh with this stone setup. There's even some over there. We should be safe if we get this. And then I want to make sure I don't forget anything, so we'll get this one too. Nice, but yeah, a little bit of an update. We're definitely getting a lot more iron than I thought. I probably just needed to go to some higher up caves, because diamonds, we should be good for now. I think there was iron up there even. Nice. Okay, so let's go check out what's in this upper part of the cave. Probably safe to do a staircase rather than some sort of water. Yeah, this should be good. I hear a bunch of stuff up there already. We have got a lot of lapis too, which is good. Like I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy about this mining trip. I just thought we'd be getting more, you know, like stuff we really needed. We do have almost two stacks of string. 
That's that's great, right? Okay, this is not working. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. And there's even more stuff over there. Great. Okay. Wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> a little combo attack. I'll take it. Um, there was a skeleton in gold armor. I don't know where it went. Okay, we really gotta eat. See what I mean about having these blocks? It's so helpful. Yeah, it is nice to see. We can see a lot of iron. Um, I even see another mine shaft area down there, and I see some iron down there. So so far, this is going out. This is going pretty well. Now I'm okay. Like I went over here and getting some iron, but like there's some parts I'm just not comfortable. Like you know, hanging off the edge. But unless the skeleton shoots me into the water, we should be good. And to be fair, we can also fall quite a distance until we can just literally get right back into the water. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna be scaling around over here. I see even some water over there. So we can just build our way over here. And there's ways to be safe about it. Like if we're doing like this and we can see that there's no openings, the only chance that anything happens here is if he were to catch me on fire, or knock me off. Let's get into here. There is a skeleton there. This is not going great. Oh no. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> I hate having stone tools. I'm gonna make it. Oh, I hate having stone tools, but here, look at me, man. I could just do this right here and, and solve all my problems. You guys are probably yelling at me like, Neo, this entire time. Wait, 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 wait. I'm a smart guy. I was gonna make an iron one, then I realized I have diamonds. Oh, dude, this cave has so much iron. And I gotta remember that this stuff will be dark when it's night, so I'm trying to remember to light, like, Literally everything up. Almost have a stack of lapis. We're at level 40 now, so we're gonna be able to do some really nice enchants. That and I mean we literally have an XP farm that works so well. And literally just starts to work better and better. Is that a big iron vein or just a bunch? I think it's just a bunch of iron. Um, but I definitely hear something like over here. Maybe. I'm in a sticky spot. Okay, I'm good. Nice. Okay. I heard all these this moaning and groaning. And I guess at some point we'd already been over here. But for some reason we didn't light it up, I guess, like at all. When when were we over here? Why did we not light it up? What the heck? Oh, there's more there's like tons of iron in here too that I like just didn't get. And I knew I've been over here because I built that straight up, so I'm not sure what was going on then. Oh, and there's even iron on the floor. Dude, was I just wasting iron? We almost have a stack now. I was worried we wouldn't have enough iron, but it's like we're doing just fine. Dude, I'm in like iron heaven right now. There's an iron pocket, um, there's an iron pocket right here, an iron pocket right there, an iron pocket right there. And I just, I, I've barely moved around. I'm just kind of like, I guess at a good level for iron. There's more lapis, like, look at this. We already have almost a stack now. Nice, dude. Okay, I don't know what this is. This just looks like some big cave here. I'll just kind of light it up a little bit. But what is this? This is an underwater cave. This must be one of the new chunks that we got. Because I do not remember a big piece of water hanging off the edge like this. Oh yeah, this was one of the new chunks. We should have like two new chunks to explore. Um, it looks like there's another one in this direction. But you know, that's okay. It's not exactly what I want. But like, you're not going to get what you want all the time. Um, and then where is the other new chunk? That's the question. I was hoping it would be that portal. Well, it looks like all of our fences don't really do a whole lot now. I'm just waiting for it to destroy our spawner. We're getting pretty close to it destroying our spawner. Is it over here? No, it must be more towards the jungle then. Or maybe only got one new chunk. I don't know. I thought we got two new, but we may have only gotten one new, or maybe we lit up two chunks already. Nah, it's got to be over here. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Or maybe not, I don't know. Well, irregardless of all that, we definitely had a very successful mining trip. Um, we have literally a stack of iron to smelt. And then we have a little bit extra, even. Still have four diamonds, which is nice. And uh, yeah, our resource chest is definitely looking a lot better. Especially better when we get all the iron in there. A little bit of redstone. Overall, it was not bad. Um, maybe I expected more, but maybe that was silly of me. It's kind of impossible to know what you're going to get when you go mining. You know, that's just Minecraft, right? 
So I don't unfortunately think, oh, a new chunk. Um, I don't unfortunately think there's a lot more I can do um, in between this episode and next. I guess I could go ahead and just double how often we get chunks now. Um, Cause I don't feel like that's cheating. I just feel like it's getting to a point where we just have to wait for the chunks to be able to like do anything. Cause we can't, if we can't get sugar cane, this is impossible. Well, where's the new chunk at? Pretty sure the new chunk um, is right here since this isn't lit up at all. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> no sugar cane in the plains. So yeah, let me go and double how often this happens. And I'm gonna reset it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sleep. That way it'll happen every time the sun, it'll happen twice in the day. Like when the sun comes up and when the sun goes down, something like that. But yeah, let me wait until I can sleep and then I'll shut the server down and double it. Okay, there we go. Back on the server again. Let me start recording with replay mod. And yeah, we should get chunks twice as fast now. So only thing I'm gonna do in between now and when you see me next is probably just let new chunks generate. I may farm the wheat a little bit. Um, of course, if there's something cool that happens. I may get some XP. Stuff like that. There's not a whole lot to do. We just have to do some maintenance until some more exciting stuff can happen. Oh, yeah. And while I'm thinking about it, look at all this that we got. It's enough for a whole stack of bread, but we're not going to make that. Um, I did forget to tell you guys. Remember, we're going to be flatten out, flattening the, out this entire thing. So I may end up making a diamond shovel. Um, I'm going to try to make all of this land onto the same level. I think that'll look cool. I mean, some people may be like, well, why don't you leave the natural structure? I want to make it look like... I feel like if I keep up with the chunks and I flatten all this out now, it'll be a whole lot easier when we whenever we have a bunch of chunks. We'll let that be the wilderness over there. Everything from here and back is going to be our land. And then one last thing before I bother you after we're done. Let's see how many chicken eggs we got. Oh man. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of chicken eggs. I don't I don't know at what point they will start entity cramming and dying. Um, but I imagine that point's pretty soon, because they're like throwing me- If I don't move my keys, this is what happens. So, yeah. And then the cows, pretty good amount of them too. I'm gonna be breeding those. A little update, I almost died in the- in the chickens down there. They literally almost killed me, they like threw me against the wall. <laughs> so I don't know what that's about. Okay, well, as you saw in the replay, I got a ton of stuff done. I believe we got two or three chunks. It took me like 45 minutes of real time, but now it's all nice and flattened for us to build stuff on. And yeah, like I said, we got like two or three chunks. It's miraculous there isn't like a ton of mobs over there. I see some chickens and a spider, uh, but those are not super threatening to me. So I'm actually kind of happy there's not like, because this could be absolutely terrible with the amount of mobs here, but no, it's not. Nice. Okay. So having the chunks go in like twice as fast still, yeah, I, I think is, is reasonable. Yeah. So these are the two chunks we got then. So not the most helpful chunks, but they are chunks nonetheless. So progress is being made. Now to get some XP. Okay. You know what? I am so tired of bread. I'm, I'm done. I'm ending my relationship with bread. I'm only going to eat beef from now. Actually, you know what? I should probably eat chicken over beef. Um, we have so many, like, chickens in here. I'm not even comfortable going in there. I have to, like, hold shift, and then... Oh, I'll have to go down here. Ugh. Uh. Oh, my gosh. How many chickens just died? Was that all the chickens? Well, that's... Okay, well, we still have a few seed chickens. Bro, I don't even want to know how much chicken that is. Is, is the hopper not kind of completely full of chicken? There is no shot. I only got 59 chicken from all that plus 35. I know for a fact there was way more chicken in there. Maybe because I'm running on a spigot server, it, it like did some anti-lag stuff so it didn't like crash the server. Yeah, dude, that's all I got. And I got like no feathers. Bro, what? <laughs> what just happened? All my chickens died. I didn't get anything. Oh, we did We did get a decent bit of feathers. Maybe I'm just overestimating how many chickens were in there. I don't know. It definitely felt like there was more, but if that's all the chicken we get, that's apparently all the chicken we get. 
Interesting. Okay. Well, it either way, it's enough because I'm just going to be farming XP until we hopefully get a chunk of sugar cane. Um, I'm only willing to like record for about like eight hours a day. So if it, if it goes over eight hours, <laughs> you'll know. Oh, wait. I just found where that third chunk is. So I'm like, how did a zombie make its way over here? Yeah, there was a chunk over here that we just had completely missed. And I think we're right about to get another chunk, too. So I'll stay recording. Hmm. Yeah, it just looks like this is just a lot of plains biome, which is fine. Um, I made two smokers, so we're getting a lot of chicken a lot of fast. Let's see. How much do we have? There we go. Already 18 chicken. And, like, man, it's so much of a better food source. Look how much it heals us. Oh, three whole ones instead of two and a half. And the saturation, I bet, is so much better, too. Okay, well, I'll wait for the new chunk and we'll show it off. Hey, look, the new chunk literally just appeared. Uh, is the chest for the portal here? No, it's going to be in that chunk. I believe that's the chunk, right? Yeah, this chunk will have the portal in it. Well, we almost got lucky. I was just over here breaking all the grass because I think I'm still a big believer in, in no grass in Minecraft. What is that? Oh, that's a bat. Okay. The bats, for some reason, as you saw in the first episode, will, like, hang upside down. It's really weird. So, you can see here, like, this chunk generated out to here, then it generated over. So, you can have chunk holes. Um, now, eventually, that will be filled in, but, like, that's why there's a hole there. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to have to call it for today's episode. Hopefully, I think what I'm going to have to do is just leave this open and AFK for a while. I never really wanted to do that, but we're to the point where, like I said, we're literally just waiting on a chunk that has sugar cane. Um, unless we get a wandering trader or something, because we have the leather, we have the diamonds, and that's pretty much all we have to wait for. We have the cows, too. And we have the land to do all this fun stuff, but we can't... It's kind of hard to do stuff without enchanted tools. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. If you're not aware, I have started my SMP on Neo Network, and I have been recording a Let's Play on that as well. So if you like the more traditional, just normal Minecraft Let's Play kind of stuff, I bet you'll really like that. So go find that video. Um, it, it, it's pretty easy. I think we'll be on the fourth episode on that this weekend, too. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later.